Welcome to another episode of Wobble TV. I've got the lovely Desiree with me. Hi. How are you? I'm doing okay. You're doing the show at the Fringe, I think. I am. Oh my is God, it, I think so that, too. Is it, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, yes, Tar, I am. Tar do- Baby? Yes, I'm doing a Tell show called Tar it. Baby. Yes, so Tar Baby is all about um, race in America because everybody's talking about it. Um, so uh, <laughs> our show is fun. It's interactive. We endeavor to beat the shit out of racism because who doesn't want to do that? Um, so yeah, um, yeah, it's a show about uh, race in America. It's very uh, personal, autobiographical, um, and interactive. So cool. we play games with the audience to oh, kind of nice. get that. I'm, I'm just gonna hold this um, to <laughs> Do you get, get them the, on stage. Or? Yeah, I bring them up on stage. Sweet. You get the kind of like because then people sort of get the conversation yeah, started. Yeah, yeah. We don't want there to be any fourth wall. We mm-hmm. kind of want it to be this sort of alive, emotive thing because that's how people sort of feel empathy about the the, the stories yeah, that I'm telling about well. my experience of being black in America or in the world which I mean people who are you know queer or female or fat or you know Mm -hmm. have similar experiences of sort of being kind of like placed into a certain story of what they can be and what they can do and that feeling of invisibility of who they are um, and how that kind of corrodes a human soul and that's something that I think but it's funny as well yeah yes I know this is all this is the like critical race theory part of it but yeah I mean it's yeah yeah I mean I have a a stand up as a background so like you know I bring that into it and I'm very sort of of like sending up all of the the kind of things that we hold precious and dear. That's cool. Yeah, and then you know at some point we kind of get to the meat of it. Once mm-hmm. everybody trusts that, like you know, we can relate to this person. She's okay. Yeah. And it's like okay, now that you relate to me, let me tell you what the hell my life's been like yeah, and yeah. what it is that I see. This and then everyone's like, oh shit. <laughs> So yeah, it's pretty much the show. We're and good. then we laugh again at the end. Yeah, and we yeah, hug it's, and it's great. Um, <laughs> any words of wisdom you want to tell the people at home? Uh, words of wisdom uh, about like seeing my show? Just or in just life. in life? It could be related to the show. Um, well, let's see. I will say... Um, don't uh, be afraid of your weird and your anger. It does have a purpose. Don't like just let it lash out on everybody, but make sure that you uh, listen to it because it's telling you about what you care about and uh, what it is that you have to kind of communicate to the universe. But like make of it what you can because somebody else, like students who come to see my show, uh, can really be impacted by it mm-hmm. and changed and just have themselves be recognized because you've gone through something that they're going through and so all of that stuff is important like hold on to it and get it out to someone else that was it that's my message that that was meaningful i don't know i'm touched (laughs) you've tied now i'm now (laughs) now i'm being touched (laughs) very close here yeah no all right desiree thank you for joining us thank you Um, so much for having me an honor and a privilege absolutely i cannot wait to go see it yeah i can't wait to for you to see it um it's on at noon at the gilded balloon every day but wednesdays right here check it out yeah make good choices and thanks for tuning in